What is up you guys? My name is Selena and today's going to be a tutorial showing you guys how to do this glitch into person transition and we're going to be doing this in After Effects. So let's get started. So for this transition, it doesn't even have to be a person, um, but I'm just showing you as an example. So you kind of want to match the clip so that your object or person is in the same place. As you can see, she's walking towards the right and in the second clip, it's like right in the middle. So you can kind of have like a glitch transition right in between where they both are in the middle. So you can also kind of do this with an object or something to transport yourself into another place. I know I saw something like this in a Vietnam video. So you're going to want your second clip to overlap the first clip. And then we're just going to press Command D on the second clip to duplicate the clip. And then for our top clip, we're going to go to the Roto Brush tool. And we're going to go right where that clip starts in the beginning. And then we're going to use that Roto Brush tool to outline your person. So it might ask you to change your frame rate. So you can change your composition frame rate to whatever it tells you. And also it's best to keep your quality at full here. I'm just going to keep it at half just because I have a bunch of applications going on right now and I don't want my computer to be slow for this tutorial. So you're just going to outline your person. And if you hold alt, the red marker will pop up. And so the green marker will add your object and the red one will remove it. And you can hold command if you want to make the size of the brush bigger or smaller. So the rotor brush tool will automatically have its effect for a few seconds. So that's good enough for us. So if we go back to our composition and turn the eye off on our second clip, we can see that the rotor brush has cut off our person and this literally doesn't have to be perfect because it's just gonna have a glitch on it so you won't even be able to tell the edges. So I'm not even gonna mess around with the feathering or anything. Okay, so now with our duplicated layer, we're going to go and bring the second clip down to the bottom. So now it's kind of sandwiching our first clip. Okay, so now we're going to go to our top layer again, and then we're going to go to Effects and Presets and search up Wave Warp. And we're going to change the wave type to Noise. And now here you just want to mess around with the wave height and the wave width and the direction. So you can bring these numbers up to get, to get a glitch shape that you want. So I like to keep my wave width at... 610 and then I like to keep my direction at 0 but we're going to need to keyframe the wave height. So right in the beginning of the clip we're going to just keep the wave height at like 10 and then we're going to press the keyframe button and then we're just going to go a little bit forward and then and then right where my sister in this first clip is coming to meet herself in the second clip we're just going to bring the wave height to 50. And then we're going to go a couple frames forward again. And then we're going to press U on the clip so we can see all the keyframes. And then we're going to press that keyframe button on the side again. So it's just going to make another keyframe that has the same wave height, which is 50. And then we're just going to go barely a little after that keyframe and change the wave height to zero. So now if we watch it back, slowly keyframes into a big glitch and then gets out of the glitch and then you can also go a little bit forward and then we can bring that wave height up to like a small glitch which will be 14 and then go forward with the command and right arrow key twice and we'll change that to zero so it goes back to the normal clip okay so that's looking pretty good so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with our first clip so we're gonna go to effects and presets and search up extract and we're going to put that on our clip, and if you look at the white point, it'll be the extract tool to make our clip fade out. Kind of like the Sam Colder kind transition. Okay, so we're going to go to where you know that you want the transition to fade out. So basically, sort of in the middle of where we had our glitch, and we're just going to press the keyframe button for the white point, and then go forward to where the clip kind of changes, and we're going to change that to zero. So it fades out. Now you might be wondering why our first clip has that normal clip again. And this is because the Roto Brush tool only worked for like a couple frames. And then it went back to the normal clip, which is fine for us. Okay, so now because I don't really like how harsh the edges are in this extract effect, we can work with the softness. So we're going to play around with the white softness. So we're going to go to our keyframe 
So we're going to go to where our first keyframe starts for the extract tool and we're going to keep that white softness at like 74 and press the keyframe button and then go forward to where our keyframe ends and go to zero. So that's completely optional, but I just like it more softer and not so harsh. So now if you watch the transition back, it looks pretty cool. So you can literally play around with this effect. I kind of just wanted to introduce you guys to this. It looks pretty cool for like your short films and transitions to make yourself glitch into a new place or something. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.